remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Without a doubt, LeBron James is the most talked about and critiqued basketball player on the face of the earth. If you ever watch Skip Bayless on TV, ever since LeBron's pro debut, he's always taken every chance possible to bash LeBron no matter what he does. Last night, the Lakers played the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans hold what is arguably the most hyped player since LeBron on his roster, Zion Williamson. After the Lakers win, LeBron went straight to Zion to have a conversation with the rising star. As soon as LeBron started the post-game interviews, everyone wanted to know what the pair discussed. At first, LeBron declined to answer the question, saying Zion could tell them if he wants, adding that he doesn't give the young guys wisdom for publicity. Once LeBron got backstage, the question came up again, and the conversation started about LeBron imparting his wisdom onto the younger guys being viewed as a weakness since after all, they are his competitors. Not surprisingly, LeBron didn't take too kindly of those sentiments. He promptly told all of his detractors that have a question about his mentor skills that they can kiss my ass. That's what he said. They can kiss my ass. Here's what I think. I think that we live in a type of society where no matter what you do, people are going to find something negative to say about it. I don't care what it is you do. They got something to say about everything. I can't find too many faults in LeBron James. And even if I did, he'd get a pass because he does so much good in the hood and beyond. It's not just the school. His charitable contributions are nonstop. His mentorships are nonstop. You can't win for losing. If he don't give the youngsters game, they're going to say he's selfish. Ah, uh, man, he's just like Jordan or, what, or whoever. If he do give them game, He's weak because, after all, they are his competitors. I think that you can, I think that you can give youngsters game without losing the game yourself. I think it's incumbent upon the elders to pass the game down. This is why a lot of youngsters are lost in the first place because of selfish-ass elders who sit back and say, well, it ain't my problem. Well, they probably not going to listen. Well, you know, uh, I got other things to do. I ain't got time to be dealing with these kids. And so the kids are left to their own devices. The youngsters are left to their own devices, and they got to try to figure it out. So they're out there doing all kind of crazy stuff, and... They're getting their information from people who don't know any more than what they know. And then these youngsters get out there and they fall on their face. And then what do they do? What, what do everybody say? Ah, oh, man, didn't have an OG. Should have had an OG. Man, well, you know, man, man, that's the problem, man. We got, we got to mentor these youngsters, man. We got to teach them the way if we want them to know. I can tell you for a fact I had no mentors. Nobody helped guide me. I had everything was trial and error. I had to go through it. In fact, what was crazy is that as I was uh, dealing with a lot of things, uh, baptism through fire, there were people looking at me. Youngsters looking up at me, even people that are my age and a little older than me that was looking at me for direction. But they didn't know what I was dealing with you know, on the other side of that door. So, but if I would have had an elder stepped up, somebody that I respect would have gave me the game, I would have made far less mistakes. And that's what LeBron is trying to do with Zion. 
and the other guys, the youngsters that come to him for advice, he's giving them the game. Like, it's not going to take anything away from LeBron James. If he tells them, look, work on your moves, work on this or work on that and do this or do that. Or if, if LeBron competes with against that guy and he uses that move or whatever, or a certain technique against LeBron, all it's going to do is elevate LeBron because LeBron sees it coming. He taught the guy the move. He taught him the technique. So he can see it coming from a mile away. And if it's got anything to do with working out and training, then if LeBron don't train or work out, that's on, his, that's, that's on him. That's his fault. Even a guy that's less talented than him will, will beat him in certain situations because he's not in condition. He's not conditioned. What's that old saying? Hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. That's real. Well, what do y'all think about this? Are y'all satisfied with LeBron's uh, mentorship skills? Or is he lacking somewhere? Is there something that I don't know? Help me out here, fam. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.